Who are you? Uh, my name is Yonsi. Yonsi, who else is in Sigur Ross? Gorgi. And me, yeah. And Ore. Hi. Welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Thank you very much, sir. Right off the bat, to welcome you to Vancouver, I thought I would give you something that you love, Yonsi and Sigur Ross, some iron. Maiden. <laughs> yeah. You love the Maiden, don't you? Yep. And this particular release, check it out, pull it out, it's actually an Iron Maiden picture disc. Check this out if you pull it open. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's really nice. Oof. I think I don't have any picture disc. So this is, I think, I, maybe I used to have some picture disc. Yeah, this is what I was wondering. Have you thought of doing a picture disc for your own band at all? Yeah, we were actually talking about it earlier for this album, mm -hmm. doing a picture disc. And Everybody you, loves picture disc. And turn over another picture on the back oh. as well. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> so what was your first Iron Maiden experience? Did you experience this album live at all? Uh, no, yeah, I saw them. They came to Iceland once, I think, and I, I went there. I think I was 16 or something. My first album was Killers. Amazing album. What do you think about old technology? Like, for instance, I noticed Tuck, it was released on cassette in Indonesia. <laughs> Did you know that? Probably not by us. <laughs> no, it was on EMI. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. EMI released Tuck in Indonesia on cassette. Isn't that incredible? That's really cool, actually. <laughs> that wasn't too long ago, was it? Really? Yeah, no, it wasn't. It probably still is cassette there. Yeah, you know. so it makes me think, your new LP, will it be released on picture disc and cassette? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Here we are with Seeger... Ross. ...in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. And what I was thinking is, in Iceland, there are two important sayings that you need to know. I heard there are two important sayings that you need to know. And one of them is, Kermif Kutlin? Kermif Kutlin. Caramel Kutlin. <laughs> What's that? Can, we, can I see it? It's supposed to be, it's almost there, man. It's almost there, dude. Kormas or Kutlin? Kormas or Kutlin. <laughs> yes, how was it? How was I doing pronouncing that? <laughs> really bad. <laughs> Jonsi, what is your full name? What is your full name? Uh, John Thor Birgisson. And I was thinking, John Thor, hmm, you're in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. I have to give you a gift from a Canadian and a Vancouver <laughs> metal legend. This is John. Uh, yeah, no, this is really good. Yeah, no. Keep the dogs away. Check it out on the back here. Look what his name is. John, John. John Michael Thor. John yeah. Thor, keep the dogs away. <laughs> it's actually, this is my great, great grandfather. So you have heard of Thor before? Uh, yes, the god, yes. And he is amazing. And I thought, well, you know, you're looking at his photo, you're going, hmm, that's pretty impressive, like he's singing. But Thor also can bend steel and blow up hot water bottles. <laughs> Just like Thor the God. Just like Thor the God, and to prove that to you, I have actually the Thor <laughs> DVD. Whoa. And there it is, an anthology. <laughs> That's amazing. And so you can actually check him out on the Merv Griffin show, blowing up hot water bottles and bending steel. This is Canada's number one metal legend for you guys. Wow. On the Thor tip, what can you tell the people about this Icelandic band, Thor's... Thor's Hammer, yeah. yeah. Thor's Hammer, yeah. Thor's <laughs> Do you guys know Thor's Hammer? Yeah. yeah. What can you tell the people about Thor's Hammer? I know them as Thor's Hammer. That uh, they're just, yeah, they're really good. They're um, the first Beatle band in Iceland. Are really, really popular. And the guy from Thor's Hammer, his name is Runar, Runar Juliusson. Uh, do you know Runar though? He's put out quite a few CDs. Yeah, yeah. What can you say about Runar? Rest in peace, because he passed away. What can you say about Runar? Probably the coolest Icelander ever. He was, and he was in Thor's Hammer, and such great stuff here. He also did a lot of work with Booby. Yeah, Booby, yeah. <laughs> Who is Booby Morthens? He's another legend in Iceland. Why was beer banned till like 1984? <laughs> it's, it's dangerous, man. Yeah. <laughs> was there any reason behind that? No, it's a long story. <laughs> well, we have time. Please explain. <laughs> it is plain weird, I think. Yeah. It's just nobody understands it. When you guys were growing up, was it Wham or was it Duran Duran? Duran Duran. Kiss. Duran Duran, of course. <laughs> Kiss? Not Wham or Duran Duran? <laughs> no. But I was wondering, Seeger Ross, growing up, is it true that there was no TV on Thursdays in Iceland? Yeah, that's true. 
Or in July? No, that's not true. <laughs> Why no TV on Thursdays? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of a good idea, though. I don't think. Yeah, I guess it sounds good, but why Thursdays? Was it? It's like. Yeah, I guess it was TV People's Sunday. I don't know. Have you guys ever eaten any sheep's heads at all? Of course. Because that's quite normal in Iceland, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, especially for older people. But yeah. What did it taste like? Um. Yeah. <laughs> Juicy. Juicy. <laughs> Juicy! <laughs> Sucker the eyes. <laughs> okay, the sheep's head. Now, what about the sheep's testicles? What do those taste like? Um, better than you expect. Chewy, maybe? Like juicy and chewy? No, they're, they're quite good, actually. They're not bad. Because it made me think, testicles, the penis museum. <laughs> yeah. What's there? And have you guys been there? Because I love the penis museum. Or does everybody talk to you about the penis museum? There's a penis museum in Iceland, right? Yeah. Yeah, nobody talks about it to us. It's, uh, what have you seen in a penis museum? I haven't been there, actually. Have you guys been there at all? Yeah, yeah. I, I was there, yeah, yeah, every day. Take my family. Every Sunday. The whole family. But there aren't any male penises in there at this present time of human persuasion, right? Yeah, yeah there's one. Yeah. Some old Icelandic dude to donate his wiener. To the museum. <laughs> so, Yonsi, you haven't been to the penis museum, but you keep up on it, though. You keep up on all the information for it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Who else have you bumped into there? Like, you didn't expect to see in the bars there, because quite a few people pass through. Lou Reed. <laughs> You're just like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ted Danson. Ted Danson? Gogi, Gogi met him on the street. Yeah, no, it was actually my wife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, did you go up to him and go, hey, you're Ted, can I get your... Like, what was the circumstance? Are you sure it was him? Yeah, yeah. W my wife was walking on the other side of the road, and she thought she saw someone that she knew, so she kind of waved at him, said, hey, and he waved back, hey, and then she'd realized, like, you know, a couple <laughs> hundred meters later, oh, that was Ted Danson. <laughs> I don't know him at all. <laughs> That's incredible, the Brian Jonestown massacre, Lou Reed, Ted Danson. Iceland <laughs> has it all, doesn't it? All the hottest guys. Well, thanks so much, Seeker Ross. Keep on rocking in the free world, and do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah. This is not how to work, right? Okay, I'm <laughs>